Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today's video is going to kind of be all over the place. And I say that because we're just going to be doing a little bit of everything. I don't have a specific build in mind. I just kind of want to go around and fill out all of these different little areas that are still empty. I guess this video is almost going to be more of like a let's play style video just because like I said we're not like specifically building anything. If we do end up building something that's awesome but we're not going into it with like a plan. And the reason we're doing this is because I just don't really know what to build. And also the road path has changed from the in-game pathing to this brick. I don't really know if I like the brick. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I am kind of on the fence about it. And I'm still looking for new ones. So if you guys have any cute like brick road recommendations, please let me know. And I also switched out my dirt path for this one. And I used the brick road for this little neighborhood. I really like it in this little neighborhood, but I don't really like it anywhere else. I don't know. You guys can help me decide. If you like it, let me know. I'll show you guys the new layout for the custom codes. Um, yeah, so this is what it's looking like. And here's that cute code. But again, if you guys have any better recommendations for a brick road code, please let me know. Um, like I said, today there's not really going to be a solid plan. I just kind of want to work on little areas that I have left empty. Like this cliff is bare and I don't know what I'm going to do up there. So we're going to figure that out together. And same thing up here. And this is an important one because you can come up here and see the view. And... I don't know, I've been struggling. I'm like, what do I put up here that would make sense, but it also wouldn't take away from the view? I think I'm just going to do it natural and not really fill it out too much. Um, the first thing I want to work on is this little spot right here. So, I don't really know where this is going to lead to, but I know I want it to be a cute little windy path um, to wherever it's going to go. I don't know. I haven't worked out all the details yet, but yeah. Oh, and I also switched out her garden for roses and lilies of the valley. I need to, like, organize it and make it look nice, but I just threw down the flowers right there. Um, so maybe we'll work on that too today. Um, so I guess first things first, let's open up the construction app. This video is going to be super laid back and super chill because that's how I'm feeling and... I know a lot of you guys like to watch more laid back, chill content, and it might be a little bit of a longer video as well and less edited because to me that's also more relaxed vibe, if that makes any sense. Um, I can't decide if I want to do this path or if I kind of want to break it up a little bit with the planks and the grass code that I have. I think maybe we'll do like a little circle of the grass code, so... Let's put that down. Okay, cute. And then maybe right here we can put a little plank. Or a flower. Let's see which one we like better. I really like the plank already. So we're going to leave the plank. And actually, let's go grab some trees. I need to put down my storage shed somewhere. Maybe we'll just throw it back here. I did go to multiple treasure islands. And I forgot to get some stunted trees, so that sucks, but it is what it is. It's fine. Oh my god, I don't have a golden shovel. That that hurts my soul. I forgot to grab a golden shovel. I was on an island with a golden shovel and I didn't get it. Frustrating, but it's okay. For this island, I'm really trying to incorporate the these big old trees i can't think of what they're called but i've really been wanting to use them and um i never really used them on my previous islands i don't know why there's not even a specific reason as to why i don't use them or why i didn't use them i think it was the fact that they weren't pastel and that the green on them was very dark <laughs> 
and the wood on them as well is very dark. And that really didn't go with my theme. And it still doesn't, but I'm trying to tell myself that it's just a tree and it doesn't matter what color it is because it's a tree. And I need the height, so I'm trying to incorporate them on this island a little bit more. And so far so good, I actually really like them. I'll probably come back and swap a couple of these out with some smaller trees, but for now, we're just going to make it work. But they do look really cute. They are cute. I will say that. Oh no, I hope that that tall tree doesn't cover the windmill though. It really covers the windmill. It's okay, we'll put, we'll put more windmills. It actually looks kind of cool. It's like tucked in back there. I don't mind that. Let's grab a couple windmills. I need to get in the habit of just throwing them everywhere on this island. Because I really like them, and I like their color scheme, and I think that they look really cute. And I also have some maples. Those can be cute, too. Okay, what if we threw another windmill right here? Even though there's, like, a ton of windmills in this neighborhood section of the island. I don't even care. You can barely see it. I'll probably end up swapping that tree out for a smaller one. But it's cute. I like it. And then maybe we can put another one right here. Or is that like way too much? That might be way too much. I don't know. Is this too much? Am I overdoing it with the windmills? Actually, it looks, it looks cute. It looks cute. And I still have to fix that dirt pathing down there where it's like, it looks like it's going into this. I didn't like, I didn't fix this yet. There's a lot I have to do, which is why I'm not like building today and I'm just kind of going around and fixing some stuff. I love how that looks, actually. That is so lush looking. It looks so cute. I've never used so many trees in my life. And it is so satisfying. It really just, like, fills out the area. I do have to get some smaller trees for sure, but it's super cute for now. I think we'll just continue this, like garden path. I'm obsessed with this path. I'm really glad I decided to download it. When I was first downloading the codes, I really wanted to download this one, but I just, I don't know, something was throwing me off about it, and I was like, I'm just gonna try a different one, but I regretted it this whole time. Like, ever since I started making this island, like, I'm like, I need that code. Like, I need to get it. So, I finally did. And I'm super happy I did because I think it's, like, perfect for the theme. And, yeah, I really like it. Also, sorry if my mic settings sound different or weird. I just, I'm never happy with them. Bottom line, I'm never happy with my mic settings. There's always something weird about them. I just think it might be the microphone. I don't know. The one thing this path is missing, in my personal opinion, is like a middle piece that has like some leaves on it or like some dirt breaking through the ground. I'm not complaining though. It's clearly meant to be like a very simple path, but I don't know. I think it could use just like a little something. But I'm I'm genuinely not complaining. I love this path so much. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there because I don't know if I want it to go this way or this way or what I'm going to do with it quite yet. But I just wanted to get it down so that I can decorate a little bit in these little empty areas. I think I want to put another bunny right here maybe. 
Let's grab one really quick. Or actually, maybe I'll put one right here instead. It's a little bit more like, you know, tucked into the forest. Oh, that bothers me so bad. Why can't I push you closer? It's fine, I guess. Cute. Look at how cute this looks. I love it. I'm obsessed with this island, you guys. Even though I have been getting sort of unmotivated with this island, I still love it so much. And like, I wouldn't rather be doing any other theme right now. I think the reason why I'm unmotivated is just simply because I'm uninspired. There's not really like a lot of Grandma Core islands out there. And so for that reason, it's hard to take inspiration and I'm sure like any artist of any kind knows the feeling of just like having no inspiration it's so tricky and I almost feel like decorating your island is like art in that sense because it just gets so tricky sometimes if you're not inspired by anything oh my gosh you guys <laughs> the one thing I've been meaning to grab from a treasure island for like so long is garden benches and of course it's the one thing that I forget that is so frustrating. It's okay though. Okay, I think now what I want to do is grab a couple of flowers and work on these cliffs that I haven't decorated. I've also done a lot of terraforming off camera that I haven't showed you guys and I don't think- Oh, I do have a ladder. Okay, so I made this huge cliff right next to the resident services and it goes all the way to the back of the island right now but i plan on cutting it like around this point um yeah this was all flat before and then i connected it to what was already here i think i want to try and put my next cranny and my able sisters up here somewhere but i'm not too sure and then i was thinking like an incline somewhere right here but i don't know I just don't know. I'm not sure, so I would hate to like do it and tear it down. Just like I did with the Able Sisters. Like, when I was doing the Able Sisters build, I knew that I didn't like it. I just like didn't want to admit it. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, it's, it's coming out so cute. So like, you know, it's fine. Like, I'll just keep doing it. And the build itself was cute. It was, but it was the location that really bothered me. And it's just because, like, I was so excited to do the Able Sisters because it was, like, one of the only things that I knew what I wanted to do with it, if that makes any sense. Like, I had an idea in mind from the moment I thought of doing a Grandma Core Island. Like, I knew I wanted to make it a sewing area, whatever. And so I just got too excited and I let myself do it, even though I knew, like, I wasn't ready to do that yet. Because the way that I do my islands, it's kind of weird. I do it in order. Like, I can't just go to the back of the island and start putting something down there. Because it's just like... Just because it's like, well, I don't know what's going to lead up to it. And it needs to have, like, flow. And I feel like if I were to just throw it down, like, wherever, it's not going to have flow by the time the island is done and I'm going to have all these weird spaces in between my builds and it's going to leave me confused. So I like to do the island like as I go. I don't know how to explain it, but like, yeah. So that's why when I did the Able Sisters, it was kind of a mistake because I just wanted to get it done. So I just threw it down where I knew it wasn't going to look good just because. But it's okay. We live and we learn. Okay, I've got a good amount of flowers. I'm gonna need some bushes. And I don't have any stunted trees and I would like to use stunted trees for the cliffs. So we're probably gonna hold back on the trees for now and um, just decorate with flowers and bushes and things. There is no way my shovel just broke. Oh my god, that is so annoying. I can't believe I forgot to get golden shovels. It's just my luck. It truly is just my luck. And 
And then also down here, I plan on putting like, I don't know what to do right here. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. I really need help with what to do in front of the resident services. Like I have this whole like carved out little area and it's carved out by these two cliffs and I just don't know what to do. My original plan was to like maybe put like a flower field, but I was like, no, I did that on my last island. Like, I don't know. It just didn't feel right to me. So I was like, scratch that idea off. And I thought of a couple of different things and none of them would work for right here. Like I have an idea to do like a lavender farm somewhere on the island and a strawberry farm, but I want it to be able to have a view and you know when you're when you're right here you're not getting the best view like I want to look down on it from a cliff so I was like those won't work and yeah so I just have no idea what to do right here if you guys have any ideas on what I can do let me know it's kind of an awkward space because you don't walk straight into it like you have to kind of backtrack to get there and something about it like irks my brain and it doesn't make sense in my brain and it's making me think that like I can't put anything here I don't know I don't know how to explain the way my brain works but bottom line is you guys are in charge of helping me with what to put here I'm assigning you guys homework and this is your homework because I can't my brain can't anymore but this bridge I plan on putting like a couple little houses tucked in against this cliff right here which I thought would be really cute. I also want to ask, what did you guys think of my speed build video? I actually am super shocked that I'm saying this, but I really liked how it came out. And I'm actually really proud of that video. I don't know why, but I really like it. And it's not like me to enjoy speed builds. Like, I don't really watch speed builds. They're not really my cup of tea, but I want to know if you guys liked it. And if you guys want to see more of those kinds of videos in the future. Oh, I forgot to grab weeds. Okay, let's go grab re weeds really quickly. But yeah, definitely let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing more of those kinds of videos. Because I actually had a lot of fun voicing over the video. Okay, so I filled out that little bit of the cliff. I'm not going to do up there yet, simply because you can't even see it. That's something I'll leave to do, like, right before the dream address. But, like, you know, why am I going to do it if no one's going to see it? Anyways, we're going to work on up here now. Um, I really have no idea what to do here. Like, I don't know if I should make it an actual build or if I should just, like, put flowers down and call it a day and make it natural. I'm definitely going to use this stone cone right here, though. I think that that would be really cute. It is really cute. I love this little code. So much. Oh, and then also, I found a code to put around resident services, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah, and then I don't know what to put right here either. Like, should I make it something that you're supposed to be able to access and, like, maybe put, like, a little picnic or something? Or do I just decorate it really naturally? I struggle. I struggle sometimes, if you can't tell. Maybe I'll just put like a bunch of ducks. Like it's Duck Island. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of cute. I don't think I have enough ducks to do that right now though. Let's see. I think I only got like three of them. Is it possible to make Duck Island with only three ducks? We're gonna find out. Okay, I'm gonna steal this duck from right here. Just so we have a couple more ducks for the duck island. Oh no. Oh no. We'll put the bush right here instead. Oh my gosh. I need to get rid of that that red flower bush too. Let's do that really quick. No, I can't get over there. Oh, I can. Okay, I grabbed a round pillow to stick one of the duckies on. And I forgot to customize it. It's fine. I was going to make it green, but honestly, it looks cute. Okay, there's duck number one. Honestly, I want to put a custom code under here first. We're just going to put some buttons. This button code is like absolutely adorable and I love it. Okay, there is duck number one. 
I literally want to make this thing like covered in ducks though. So we're going to get at least like two more ducks. I'm going to fit as many as I can on here. Okay, we're going to use this little puddle code. I literally found this code just by searching puddle. So if you're if you're looking for it, just search puddle. There's so many good puddle codes. Oh my god, it looks so cute in the puddle. That is the cutest thing I've seen all day. That is adorable. Okay, and then maybe we'll put another one like right here. We need to put it on a code though. It's so cute. I can't get enough. I think we'll switch this one out though. And honestly, we don't need the round pillow. It's just bothering me. It's not the right color. I literally am meant to customize it. I swear. And then... <clears throat> Maybe we'll just put the last one like under the tree. It's so cute. There's so many ducks. I need at least like three more though. So, we're just going to fill out the area a little bit with some of this other random stuff that I have. Okay, this is what we have so far for Duck Island. I think it's cute, but we definitely need more ducks, less flowers. So, we will be making that development soon when we get more ducks. Okay, I honestly have no idea what to do up here. Like, I just sat here and thought of like seven different things and none of them would work. Like, I just don't know what to do up here. I don't want to put just all flowers because that just seems low effort. And I want it to be something cute and important because there's an incline. Like, there's it's not even a ladder. Like, there is an incline. There needs to be something up here that makes sense. And I just can't think of anything. I'm really struggling. But look at how cute this view looks. I'm so proud of this. It is adorable. It is truly so cute. Oh my gosh, wait. There's three bunnies and they're all facing the same way. I need to turn this one around. That is so much better. <laughs> Sometimes the littlest things can make the biggest difference with these islands, I swear. Alright you guys, thank you so so much for watching today's video. I know it's not like my usual video where I have a plan and I'm building something big and extravagant, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. This was just more of like a casual, let's play, just chit chat with me vibe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It means the world to me and it helps me out so, so much. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you are. I hope you're having a wonderful time. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!